current topside temperature is 79 degrees with an estimated high of 90. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. from the automated door. If you're here to see someone at the Habitor and Payroll office, better just have a seat. They're not open for another a half an hour. Why they'd shove it so far away from the main entrance is beyond me. I didn't even know there was a second station for this place. I swear, if Keller chews me out for being late because of this, I'm going to resign. Customer. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. I, uh, it, it's a good read. Uh, you're Dr. Freeman, right? We were told to expect you. You know, you spend too much time reading those magazines. They're doing a series on the Hazardous Environment Combat Unit. Those guys do some seriously good work. Sure. Let the see you take them on. Look, he's here. Ah, Dr. Freeman. We've been waiting for you. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure you hit some traffic in the middle of the desert. At any rate, Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things have been in a state of commotion lately, but we're glad you're here. Just let me double check your file. Ah, I see you've already signed our legal disclaimer. My Gordon Freeman hereby agree to the following terms. Blah, blah, blah. Has any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc. Hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Mesa Research Facility. Ah, yes, it looks very good. Now, if I recall, you're here for standard HEV training. Oh, wait a minute. Seems someone has made an error and signed you up for the Enhanced Security Trainings Firearms 101 as well. Well, if this is on file, it means the required personnel are already setting up. No sense letting it go to waste. Follow me, and we'll get you prepped. I should join the Marines. The well, way you keep your head in the clouds, you'd wash out in a week. Oh, yeah? What makes you so sure? U.S. Army Rangers. Twelve years. Wait, what? <laughs> Why didn't you ever tell me? Well, you never asked. Nervous? Well, I'm afraid there's really no backing out now. Don't worry, the Firearms 101 course does not involve being shot at. That's Firearms 103. If you gotta go to the bathroom, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and get into the HEV sooner. Get used to the integrated waste disposal system. I know I said do what you feel is right. Did we really need to buy so many supplies with the Administrator's Enhanced Security Training Program? The contractors offered a very good bulk uh, Not true, but isn't it a bit excessive to have 50 submachine guns and 500 impact units on site? With training security guards not raising a private army, oh, you're exaggerating. There's only 450 of that here. That's still far too many for any civilian organization to have. Are you questioning my decision? Well, um, well, no. Of course. Finally. Simowitz, he's here. Oh, dear. 
Why aren't these sensors working? I hope they're not needed for today's training run. Ah, the salutations, Gordon. I thought I should drop in to welcome you, as well as ensure everything goes smoothly. They assure me that all the training facility software is in working order. Best of luck. Welcome to the hazard report, Dr. Freeman. I trust you, Chris. So we'll just skip ahead to the information it has. We'll be monitoring your vital signs remotely via the HEV suit you'll be using. But do pay attention to your adrenaline flow, fatigue, any lightheadedness, extreme pressure, arrhythmia, or potential fractures. Yeah, the usual. Most of the course is self-explanatory. Often literally. But we'll be around to give you any tips you might need. As well as grade you on your performance. So do try to give us a good show and enjoy yourself in there. The entrance is the elevator shaft on the left of the room. Come with me. Wrong way, sir. Hazard course entrance is opposite to me. Uh, the elevator on this side is for observers, not trainees. You're not good at the whole listening thing, are you? Okay, look. You. Go. There. You have a problem listening, numbnuts? The entrance is right frickin' there. Pleasure's all mine, Dr. Freeman. Oh, don't worry, the course is an easy one. Carefully don't fiddle with any locked doors. The hazard course is retrofitted from an older facility, but some of the areas still need to be operational. It wouldn't do for you to get lost down there. Then we'd have to send in security to dig you out, and the whole morning will be gone. The administrator used to greet new employees at the end of the course. Well, Dr. Baldwin did before he stepped down. Are you excited for all the perks you get? There's your official Black Mesa email address, the uh, microwaves in the break rooms, the uh, on-site laundry is convenient, uh, private bathrooms in the dormitories, I suppose. It's good to see you again, Gordon. Let's catch up after you're done here, shall we? I do miss the lecture hall sometimes. All those fresh faces, eager to learn. How about we get this over with? We don't have all morning, Doctor. Though at the rate the elevator seems to be moving. All excited for the tour of the facility? Well, not... All of it, of course. Just get a move on, or else you'll miss it. Best get a move on, or Dr. Brickford will get angry. Fresh meat, eh? Like video games? You didn't hear it from me, but someone installed Doom in one of the shared folders. I didn't do it, certainly not. But I'm not complaining either, you understand? You didn't have too big of a breakfast, did you? Bananas are good. Tastes the same going down as they do coming back up. Don't ask how I know that. Good luck. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Really, don't hesitate. This silence is, uh, what's the word? Hello, and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it's suspended. All right, 
let's get on with it. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement. So, I see you did your PhDs at MIT. Very impressive. Oh, just one. Uh, good job! At any rate. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will try to run and jump over this set of pipes. Watch me, then try it yourself. Good work. Those suits can be tricky for you. Move on to the next area. You will need to duck and stay low to clear the next set of pipes. Moving while crouched will also minimize movement noise. We will now combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump. Good work. Ready for the next room, I'd say. Sometimes you'll need to get extra height in order to get over an obstacle or into a tight space. Try jumping forward and pulling your legs up mid-air to clear the obstacle. It's tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy. Watch me, and then try it yourself. You know, Phil had trouble with that too. For 30 minutes, if I recall, try raising your legs when you jump. Climbing ladders in your suit may be a bit tricky. Take some time to practice it here. I can't believe they still think we need to teach people how to use ladders. The next three jumps are more difficult to make. It helps to get a running start and lift your legs mid-air. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you're doing well. Great work! Now, there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own module seen here. When wearing the module, you will be able to activate it to give your jumps extra horizontal movement. When you're at the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. This is a prototype of the module, by the way. Let us know if you experience any problems. Don't be afraid, Dr. Freeman. The suit will protect you from any major injuries. Oof, this part's hard to watch. I hear the engineers are working on a landing system for the long jump module. Not that you're likely to ever use the final version, but it's apparently designed to prevent situations like this. I 
can't tell if he's trying to get more morphine out of the suit or avoid medication. Careful with that long jump module. I have to give him credit. That's clever. alternate means of removing the obstacle. Pick up the crowbar on the table and pry open the large crates in your path. I haven't seen that solution before. Well, well saves us from having to find more crates to reseal. Or not. Turn your suit's flashlight on for this next area and use it to navigate the path. If you fall, locate the ladder and try again. Don't get used to taking shortcuts like that around here. Great! Remember, your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you're not using it. Don't worry, we'll get you a fresh set of rechargeables when we issue your suit. Auxiliary power shouldn't be a problem any time in the next decade. Ah, I almost forgot the weapons training snap. Welcome to the Black Mace. <clears throat> uh, one moment. Control? Control? Can someone please explain to me why this guy looks like an orange tank? Nothing to be alarmed about, Range. He's with the science team's HEV project, and there was a mix up with this file. Continue as planned. As planned. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, one HEV scientist coming in. Hello, trainee. Uh, oh, uh, doctor. You're about to be dispensed a standard issue 9mm pistol and ammunition. So, yeah, you caught me a bit off guard. Uh, I can see that you aren't exactly supposed to be here today, but, uh, you know, whatever. Hey, you're scheduled for it. They're paying for it, so let's make the most of it. All right, I'll teach you how to use some of my cool toys. There are three rules on my range. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot, and always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and load it now, though, because we're about to begin. Hold your weapon in a two-handed grip, both thumbs forward, feet shoulder width apart. Put seven rounds in the center ring of each target. Hey, not bad at all for a first time shooter. Now, I like your stance with your feet, and that was a pretty slick relay. But your handling of the weapon could be a bit better. Don't jerk the trigger, all right? Give it a slow, steady squeeze. Okay, let's move on to an automatic weapon system. Head into the armory behind you. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Be more careful. This is your standard 9mm submachine gun setup I'll need with an attached pads. impact grenade launcher. Grab ammo and grenades, load up, and they'll open the next room for you.
Not bad. You did real good, Doc. Great work. We'll run the rest of the course with that equipment. You know, we, we try to train our guys with all the weight of their gear, but, well, I guess that doesn't make much of a difference to you. But, regardless, just be careful with it. Remember, finger off the trigger. But, hey, man, look, don't stress too much about any of it. All right. I don't think you're ever going to reach a point in your life where you need to use a submachine gun with a grenade launcher attached to it, right? But, but you know, whatever. I hope you had fun. Take care. Ah, welcome back. Did you learn something about security duty? Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, notifying you when you need an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will drop. At multiple points, you will be given opportunity to surface for air. Those are custom built. We can't just replace them willy-nilly. Dr. Freeman, why must you insist on destroying expensive equipment? But do not tell them how much that suit is worth. Are you kidding me? This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, you can step up to any charger to charge your suit gradually until the charger is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Power level is 100%. The following series of rooms simulate lab disasters and other hazardous conditions your suit is designed to protect you from. Do not worry, if you charged your suit in the previous room, you will be in no danger. And if you didn't, we have a medical team. Yes, that's correct. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators in the center of the display show you where damage is coming from. on the fire doors act as a toggle unless the heat sensor is treated. Just hit the button to get out. I bet you want a chance to cool down. Exposure to extreme cold will sap your suit's power supply. Make your way through the next chamber quickly. The HEV suit dampens electric shocks as well. That doesn't mean you should go for a dip, though. And don't try to turn off the power. The room isn't designed for that. Radiation activates your suit's Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also displayed with a luminous icon. Don't worry, that suit is properly shielded in all the right places. And this is a very low dose for demonstration purposes only. The marker chemicals are probably just as radioactive as what we've allowed through. Even so, don't worry if your vision is blurred. Yes, that's perfect.
you wrote for the Lampoon, right? He went to MIT, actually. As demonstrated, the HEV suit is more than capable of keeping you safe. Please use the elevator to your right. I'm sure we've got more cameras lying around here, right? Those are custom built! We can't just replace them willy-nilly! Dr. Freeman, why must you insist on destroying expensive equipment? Do not tell him how much that suit is worth! Occasionally, you may need to enter an area of the facility you do not have personal clearance to enter. Explain the situation to a guard, and they will let you through. Ask the security guard to let you through and lead him to the retinal scanner. He will let you into the final section of the course. Hello, sir. Lead the way, sir. Coming. So, uh, you PhDs really need the social skill training? Conversations generally have a sort of a, a back and forth. It's kind of their defining characteristic. certified for use of the HEV Mark IV hazardous environment suit. This lever-controlled train will transport you to a location where your training associates are waiting for you. Have a very safe and productive day. Without the tram? Say... Well, say cheese. You broke the tram, didn't you? Congratulations, Dr. Freeman. Yes, you actually made it. And in the... 84th percentile of time to complete it. That's amazing for a first one. Yes, considering that he had to stop and do that security firing range as well. Very impressive show, Dr. Freeman. Well... At any rate, let's get the good doctor out of that training suit and onto the tour. I believe there's someone waiting for him. Right this way, Dr. Freeman. We have a car waiting. 